When you look around, it seems like things are getting worse. People are fighting over seemingly frivolous things. You got arguments left and right. Literally, from a liberal perspective, from a conservative perspective, you have all these retailers now just coming out with their woke agendas. You have many different things happening. and It just seems like things are getting much, much worse, especially with the health concerns, among many other things. And something I have to remind a lot of people which if you read scripture and you look at the big picture, you look at the, the, the 10,000 foot view of what God does in society is that not only does he work in the individual family, the individual unit, the individual person, but you gotta recognize themes. You gotta recognize where the body of Christ is moving towards and what God does to, uh, to course correct that and to move you and to elicit a response. So when God is turning up the heat, when he is taking what the enemy is doing, he's using it for good. And so oftentimes he will extend a period, just like when he did the, the plagues, right? One was enough, two was enough, but he had to emphasize things uh, with the 10 plagues. And so the same is happening now for which many people in this day and age, they have a lukewarm spirit. A lot of people are sleeping. A lot of people are just in this zombie-like state. They're not a fearing God. They're not hating sin. They're not despising sin. They're not looking at it the way God looks at it. They're not looking at wanting to uh, seek after the things of the Lord, to worship him, to truly appreciate, to have love, to have affection in these things. And so that's why when certain things are getting worse for a certain uh, time period, a people group, a country, what have you, it's being done for a reason because God, he knows uh, my uh, sheep recognize my voice, right? Jesus, he's t uh, targeting chosen people. He's targeting a vast majority of, the, of these believers and they have a choice. They have a choice to either ignore it, brush it under the rug, and then just go about their day or to wake up from their slumber, get right with the Lord, and then fervently seek after him so that, he, that they would be doing the things that are of the kingdom. They would live their life, a sanctified life, not a comfortable life. There's nothing wrong with having lots of money. There's nothing wrong with having you know certain things. But if you idolize them, if you put God below that, if you don't do kingdom work, evangelize, and to reach people, reach the nations and all these things, and you have this sort of lackluster, lukewarm mentality, then you are not in the right place. Yes, God had times of peace. He had times of prosperity for nations. But other times, the Israelites, they were sent, you know, uh, all these captors, they had warring nations fight against them. There are times for which God turned up the fire. And then these people, they, because they were wicked in their ways, because they were distracted, because they, you know, did something that God wanted a certain response out of. And in this, this time period, it's that people are sleeping. They have to wake up, right? And God does this throughout history if you read the Bible. And so there's a reason, there's a rhyme and a reason for which there may, may be a delay. There may be an extension of a certain period. There may be what seems like it's getting worse because God is waiting for a lot of people. Yes, there's going to be some people that are faster. They're gonna come up, they're gonna learn their lesson. They're gonna get right with the Lord. They're gonna pray, they're gonna repent and all that stuff. But other people, they have to be brought into the fold at their pace. And if it's gonna take, a lot more time than God is using that time, this time to have those people come back around. So recognize there, there are themes, there are thematic big picture things that God, that God does in a society, in a time period. And of course, who knows the complexity, the will of God, the sovereignty of God in all of this. But one thing is very clear. He's using this time, he's redeeming this time the events, the things that are happening for a reason. If you're awake, if you're right with him and you're seeking discernment and you're seeking wisdom, righteousness, you're putting him first, you're in good hands. You will be protected despite the financial stuff, despite all of this craziness that's going on in the health space, the, the entertainment space, the political space, social space, in the financial space. Despite all that, you will be covered, you'll be protected. Wake up, get others on board, make sure that they're right with the Lord, make sure they know who Jesus is, make sure they know that God is in control of all this and that there are just movements that are happening right now, big sweeping movements that are affecting nations and peoples. And this is being played out for a reason at this time. So take heart, keep fighting, keep praying, be encouraged, love you guys, recognize 
the will of God, recognize the sovereignty of God, recognize the themes that he's doing in this moment. It's biblical. You'll see, you see it in the Bible. He's consistent. He does the same thing for his people, his chosen ones, his body of Christ. Love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.